So mark at 7.5 with this update will um, take over the uh, common um, uh, file extensions, uh, MRC and MRK. Um, I'm going to quickly show how this works um, and where you can go if you need to reset. Um, so I'm going to start with a common thing that happens just so you can see kind of how you walk through it. So Windows 10, well, 7, 8, and 10, um, all had made a change to the way that file associations work. Um, if the user has selected a file association, it's no longer changeable, at least not in a way that um, I'm comfortable with, because uh, it requires setting some permissions that um, the operating system sets, um, and there's potential for unintended side effects. So let's say you had um, a file, and at some point you did something like this. So now, um, this file type is associated with uh, Notepad. So I'm going to go ahead and install uh, the previous version of Mark Edit. And so this will uh, set the file extensions. Um, you'll notice this didn't change. Um, that's because as a user, I set that file type, so I can't change that default type. Um, in the application. Um, and in Mark Edit, it was kind of difficult to do. Um, you pretty much had to go and unassociate that file type and then um, reset it. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do this and get it set. So this is 7, and so I will go ahead and um, just uh, compile this file to MRC so you can see that the file extension did take for everything but um, what was set uh, by default in the um, what had been changed. So let me run that real quick. All right, so you can see here um, that file extension was taken and is there, um, uh, but this one, the MRK remain. So mark edit 7.5 um, will try and help ease some of this transition. So um, I'll go ahead and install it. I'm going to uncheck these because I don't want to wait for the download time. I'll let it just install the prerequisites. <laughs> so what Mark Edit 7.5 will do is it's going to look in the common locations where Mark Edit 6 and Mark Edit 7.0 to 3 um, install the um, extension types and it will attempt to remove them um, as long as you're, uh, you have the ability to do that in your system permissions uh, based on the installer that you're, you're running. So if you, for example, installed Mark Edit 7 as a user and you're installing Mark Edit 7.5 as a user, um, it would make those changes. If you installed Mark Edit 7 as an administrator and 7.5 as an administrator, then it would look in those locations. So it's finished. Um, so you'll see that this is there. So let me run this to get those settings there. So I'm just going to tell it to take it. All right. So did Mark Edit 7.5's installer take over this? So we can check. Um, it did. So 7.5 now is associated with the Mark um, MRC task. Um, but you'll see that this one still is text. Um, if you click on it, Mark Edit 7.5 now places a notation um, in the registry that tells um, Windows that this is also a potential default um, program. And so the first time you run it, you have the option to tell Windows that you know you would like that to be your new file type. Uh, if you didn't do that, you can reset uh, default. Uh, choose a default app and again because mark edit has um, placed uh, an element in the registry if you were to go and find the MRK file type you could click on it and you would see that it's an app that can be selected 
um, as a default. Again, because the, the new way that the installer is working is it's placing something there. Um, additionally, I updated uh, the preferences so that when you're in the file associations element, if you reset all, the program will go through and look for all of the places where um, old versions of MarkEdit potentially stored the settings, and then we'll reset them forward um, to MarkEdit 7.5. Again, if you, as the user, have set a file type, um, have, have, have told that file type to use a different program um, in Windows 7 through 10, um, there's not a, there's, Microsoft has explicitly said that that shouldn't be changed by an application, that that, if the user set that value, then, then the application shouldn't change that on the user's behalf. But um, the program will reset the registry to offer an option um, where Mark at 7.5 can be selected as the default application. And then if you do, it'll go ahead and work like it's supposed to. Um, so that's how this works going forward. And one of the last steps um, to getting the tool ready for um, coming out of beta.